welcome to Health Foundations. My name is Jamie George. I'm one of the four Health Foundations teachers here at Wilson Talent Center. Health Foundations is the first year program for juniors and seniors. You can earn some college credit and high school credit. Uh, while you're in Health Foundations, it's a combination of individual and teamwork. You should be self-motivated. And the great thing about Wilson Talent Center is we do some college visits. There are potentially some job shadows you can go on as well as learning some great things to begin your health career. Some stuff that we cover is medical terminology, body systems, legal and ethics, safety, infection control. You also have the opportunity to become CPR certified through the American Heart Association, along with a great deal of other things. You have the opportunity to join HOSA, which is our student organization. Now one of our Health Foundation students will share her experience about class with you. Hi, I'm Cecilia Morrison. I'm a student in the Health Foundations program. Um, I go to Alaska High School and I decided to join this program because I'm interested in nursing. When I was thinking about coming here, I was originally very nervous to come here because I'm shy around new people, but it is such a welcoming environment and you make so many new friends. It's just crazy how many new people I've met and how many friends I've made. My favorite thing that we've learned this year is about all the muscles in our body, the bones too, and the muscles and the bones and how they work together. I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm planning on going to the patient care tech program next year. Come check out the program. It's a super fun thing to do and you learn a lot of new things. There are some options if you successfully complete your first year for a second year program and our other instructors will be talking to you about those. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what you would be learning in the medical assistant program. Medical assistants work in an outpatient setting, so they work in doctor's offices, they work in clinics, they work in ready cares, urgent cares. So they work in places that people um, are going home after we give them care. The skills that we learn um, in the year in the medical assistant program pertain to things that we would do to assist a physician or a provider in the doctor's office. This is um, one of our rooms in our lab. We have four exam rooms that you get to practice and learn in. Um, so you kind of learn how to um, position patients and um, with the exam table. So you're going to learn how to apply the EKG leads and the um, pads to a person so that we can, this takes an electrical recording of the heart's impulses. You learn how to take vital signs both with a machine, a vital sign monitor, or um, manually with a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff. Because you're assisting the physician in different exams and physicals and things, you learn about instruments and what those instruments are used for. Uh, we also learn how to assist during minor surgeries in the office. So you would learn how to put gloves on sterilely, set up a sterile field for minor office surgery. This is our phlebotomy. Um, station and so you're going to learn what different tools we use, different ways we can um, draw blood depending on what needs to be done and what the patient. A uh, medical assistant not only works we call in the back in the clinical area with the physician but you also need to know how to work up front in the clerical area. So we have an office setting where you will learn to take phone calls triage patients, know who they need to talk to, what's an emergency, what's not, make appointments, schedule appointments. So there's really three certifications that you can leave with um, from the program. Everybody uh, is a medical assistant, so everybody gets certified for a medical assistant, and then you have a choice to also become certified as a phlebotomist, just focusing on drawing blood, or as a pharmacy technician. Hi, um, my name is Sarah Morgan, and I am one of the teachers for the patient care technician program. Patient Care Technician Program is one of your second year options after Health Foundations. In the Patient Care Technician Program, you learn how to take care of patients in an inpatient setting or in the hospital. You also learn phlebotomy and EKG. When you're here in the classroom setting, we'll be doing a mixture of lab work um, and also learning about all the things that you would be doing in a hospital setting. The students in the background are working on their ambulation, um, ambulating patients, um, moving patients, helping them set up their meals that would be taking vital signs, that would be helping you know, walk them in the hallways, um, taking care of any drains or any catheters that they may have. So anything that a patient would need in a hospital setting. In patient care technician program, you do have the opportunity to do job shadows. So following a nurse, um, we also have clinical experiences where you work with another patient care technician in the hospital setting. So 
So you're actually able to do some hands-on care working with patients. Um, you would also have the opportunity to draw blood for your phlebotomy certification, um, and then also have the opportunity to do EKGs um, on patients to kind of measure their heart activity. Hi, my name is Darren Baker. I'm one of the instructors here at the Wilson Talent Center. I teach a Health Foundations class and also a second year therapeutic services class. The therapeutic services is for those that are interested in going into athletic training, physical therapy, occupational therapy. So what we do in therapeutic services is we start out with um, the basics from foundations and we help you take that to that next level. That could be something from learning how to tape athletes to help them overcome injuries and get back in the game quicker um, to the evaluation process from a cardiovascular standpoint. So you learn how to take heart rates and blood pressures while people exercise, and then use that information to guide their care in the future. We'll learn about the flexibility training program of comprehensive program design, and then also the strengthening portion of things. And then we take all that information and we develop exercise programs to help people meet their goals. You're going to learn how to explain what you're doing as well as doing it. And we use a lot of video capture in order to do that. So instead of taking a regular written test, you'll actually shoot a video of you doing a hands-on skill and then you'll turn that in for credit. At the conclusion of the class, our students will take the American College of Sports Medicine Certified Personal Trainer exam. And if they pass that, then they can get a job right away after they graduate from high school. There's quite a need for that right now. The other nice part about that is if you're choosing to go on to college, that's a great way to work your way through college because there's a pretty decent wage as a personal trainer. That's the certification. Um, our students also have the opportunity to take a fair state English class so that they can get college credit in English. So I'm really excited that you're considering coming out to the Talent Center and hopefully you'll keep in mind our therapeutic services program. The whole reason I'm here is to help you guys meet your goals and your dreams. Very often we hear from our business partners and our advisory board that they wish they would have had something like this when they were younger and we're really pleased to offer this opportunity for you. And if you decide it is for you, I'd love to have you in our class and here at the Talent Center.